Josh Freeman, quarterback, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Josh, congratulations for making it from K-State. Oh yeah. You know, how does it feel to put on a professional uniform now? Oh, it feels great. I mean, um, threw it on yesterday for the first time and I was like, wow. Uh, it's finally here, so yeah, it's definitely awesome. Hey, Mo! Cool. Uh, Mo! So have, have you uh, picked up the mini camp? Is it a lot faster? Is there a big, big playbook at you yet? You know, uh, we had a rookie mini camp, so it wasn't as, I guess, detailed as, as it will be when we get back with OTAs with the vets. But uh, yeah, they threw they threw a decent sized chunk at me, and it was um, definitely took a lot of studying, or continues to take a lot of studying. Yeah. I understand your uh, your father played a little ball too. He did. He played um, three years in the USFL. Then he was with the Bills for a year and um, in training camp with the Chiefs. Did you pick up a thing or two for him? No, yeah, I definitely learned quite a bit from my father. Yeah, uh, really more in the the early stages of my career, you know, because he was a linebacker and uh, really the fundamentals of football. But uh, yeah, no, he continues to be there for support and gives me uh, advice and. I mean, cause he's he's lived it, so I mean, he's definitely uh, knows what he's talking about. Somebody you look up to growing up? Oh yeah, definitely. My dad's always been my role model. Cool. Do you have a sports hero? Growing up, I, I like Derek Thomas. Then for the Chiefs, um, I liked uh, Eddie George. And uh, I mean, all the quarterbacks like Elway and Marino, um, Montana, Warren Moon, all those guys. How do you feel about the competition right now in Tampa Bay for you? You know. I can't really say because I don't know, you know, I mean, I, I haven't been down there, haven't worked out with those guys. Um, honestly, I'm, I want to go out and uh, try to learn the system as, as best I can, try to learn from, from these older guys about uh, how to play quarterback in the NFL. And um, when, it, when they call my number, I want to be able to go out and play well. That's, that's all, I'm, all I'm looking forward to. Cool. So say you weren't doing football, what would you be doing? What would you be ideal job? You know, I'd probably be coaching. I mean, I'd, yeah, I love okay. football, but if I... Yeah, if I if I'd never been involved in football, I'd probably be uh, either marine biologist or herpetologist. So uh, probably one of those two. If I had no involvement with football. So uh, science one of your favorite hey. subjects growing up? Yeah, I was always fascinated with uh, really the animal kingdom. So do you have a sports car in mind you want to buy when you get your first paycheck? You no, know, I don't fit in many sports cars, so <clears throat> I think I'll stick with the trucks. Trucks? Yeah. What kind of a uh, truck you plan on getting? I don't know. Something big. Something that fits me. What's been your uh, holiday career so far? You know, I'd probably say my first collegiate start. Um, it was really, yeah, I didn't do a whole lot. Like, they didn't really throw a whole lot at me in the, the first game um, as far as the game plan. I mean, it was a lot of handing it off, little dump down passes, just, I think I threw nine passes the entire game. And then we got in the fourth quarter down by 10 points with about three minutes left. And um, I was able to make some big throws and ultimately ran the last touchdown in from about 20 yards out and yeah it's pretty oh, that's a good memory to have oh yeah <laughs> well i hope you have a lot more memories of nfl man oh yeah pleasure talking to you hey thanks dude